Welcome to the Flat Track Factory. I have a bit of a mashup video for you today. I'm going to answer uh, a viewer question. I've been putting this gentleman off for a while. Uh, I just didn't have another place to put it, so I'm gonna uh, do one of those. And at the end, I'll announce the contest winner, or I think I'll do winners in this case. I had a pretty good response there, so uh, maybe I'll give out, give out a couple of t-shirts. And also, I have some fun footage, not professionally done, but um, just what, what we had of a top secret test at one of my very favorite racetracks called Coleridge Speedway, just east of Charlotte. It's probably, I don't think you get much argument out of this, the smoothest uh, fifth mile, maybe the smoothest track, period. Uh, it's just uh, very well prepared by uh, the Moody family, who has a tremendous passion and experience for what they do. So um, I'm, I'm always flattered when they invite me out to turn some hot laps, and I thought you might want to see it. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, you may have seen a kind of maybe a little cheesy, poor quality video of uh, sliding into a corner on a really smooth short track, and uh, this is Coleridge Speedway. So I'll go ahead and uh, just throw that intro back in again here, and uh, then after that, we'll go into um, the uh, top secret test of Coleridge Speedway. And stick around for the end, and we'll announce the contest winners. question is, am I going to tell you how much a professional engine builder costs? I suspect the question is, is more so of what I've, I got in my engine. And I think that's more fun to um, keep that secret. Although um, I don't think there's really any secrets in there. It's my particular one is just, uh, it's been worked on over many years of development. Um, I say maybe decades of development, and um, it's finely tuned over time. So um, maybe I'll just keep that a little bit um, under my hat. But generally speaking, uh, I called my engine builder up, um, Jerry Wilhelmy, General Engineering. It's not really a secret per se, but um, uh, he and I have been working together for a long time, and he has a rather long and distinguished list of um, customers that uh, I'm not really going to name, name drop, but if I were to name drop, uh, you you would definitely know them, and uh, depending on which era they were, if I could remember all of them, uh, somebody would know them uh, for, you know, to modern day guys uh, winning championships recently all the way back to, um, you know, probably 30 years ago. So um, just a little establishing ethos for where I got this information. Uh, again, I'm not an engine builder, but I, but I know them. So... Um, I said, hey, 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 Jerry, um, how much would it cost? You know, just just like the basics for just a basic rebuild. Somebody brings you an engine and they just want you to go through it and freshen it. So it's running now, it's, uh, it's tuned or they don't want to change the tune. And he said, who owned it? <laughs> so then we, the, the conversation went off into a tangent. And um, as he's um, beat me up I, and, I, and I need it over, over the years, to keep the, the air filters extremely clean, like constantly changing them very carefully, cleaning the air cleaner and carburetor and underside of the bike before I take the filter off because it drops dirt into the engine and it doesn't take much 
to uh, ruin an engine uh, by sucking dirt into it and um, who owned it and how they maintain it or don't maintain it through just neglect or um, ignorance uh, apparently has a, has a big effect on or can have a big effect on what the total cost of an engine re rebuild it is. And I said, okay, great. So uh, we'll just say the average guy owned it. He's pretty, pretty good, not great, not terrible. And then he said, okay, well, who worked on it? I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, um, sometimes race engines uh, take very specialized tools to take apart. And uh, sometimes the guy down the street whose cousin's uncle's brother used to work on a lawnmower one time and then did a two stroke and that one time and you know it was ran pretty good if that guy works on it and he doesn't have the right tools doesn't want to buy the right tools he may take it apart with a crowbar and that's a problem when a professional engine builder gets one so that drives up costs also when they put them back together um, he told me that uh, very often when he gets uh, a Rotex particularly uh, in particular that's what we're talking about uh, people will have the wrong uh, length bolts but want the engine together right now run the bolt in until it stops when it's bottomed out in the cases and then run it in some more and it'll blow out the back of the of the bolt hole internally in the engine so that needs to be fixed so the first two factors before Jerry would even discuss money is he wanted to know who owned it and who worked on it. Uh, so finally we got through that and we'll just say it's an it's a average, not too torn up, not perfect. And he said a single cylinder engine, a professional engine builder, you're looking at about $3,000 in parts and labor, uh, assuming nothing is wrong and you don't want development work. And development work means, you know, uh, working on port size, port shape, uh, different cam profiles. Maybe their engine builder working with a cam builder to make a custom profile. All of these things are development work that uh, if you really want to get towards the uh, front of the pack, these types of things are, are required. And there's a whole gigantic laundry list of things um, beyond that. Uh, again, I'm really not uh, an expert on engine building. No, let me start over. I am not an engine building expert at all, um, but uh, I, I know people who are. So... Um, then we get into, uh, well, what kind of professional engine builder are you using? And um, kind of got into a pretty long discussion, about an hour long discussion about um, some, some named people that uh, the, the, their names get dropped quite a bit uh, when engine building is, is uh, discussed. And you can see that a lot more on the internet now these days. These discussions were probably held privately all along, but now we get to see them in public. And uh, a lot of these people that that our names are dropped around a lot, uh, in order for them to be doing those numbers of engines, um, they may be and are likely jobbing out a good bit of the work. They may not have the equipment or the expertise or the desire, or maybe they just have so much work and you're the fourth, fifth tier customer of theirs and uh, they will send out pieces to uh, various places to have them done. So this is another thing that can affect quality and cost. So if you want someone who is going to do everything in-house, they tend to be more experienced, they have more uh, equipment, which is, drives up their cost. So these are all the things uh, that um, can change these things. And that's why I've been reluctant to answer this question because it just it depends. And I think maybe I should have made my channel named It Depends because I think I probably say that constantly. So um, those are just some of the factors. But uh, just to start with, a uh, single cylinder, four stroke engine, you're looking entry level uh, for a professional engine builder about $3,000. So hope that answered the question. And um, Let's go into the um, contest winners. Um, for those of you that don't, don't know, uh, in my last video of your questions too, at the end I, I said, hey, if you just wanna say that you, you subscribe and give me your, your t-shirt size and I'll um, put your names here. So the names are here on these pieces of paper, everybody that wrote in. And um, I'm gonna pick out, I think I'm gonna go three. So uh, I, don't, I don't know that I'm gonna have your size, but I do have some of these hats. So maybe if I don't have your size, maybe a hat would be okay with you. So if I uh, pick your name out, 
Um, maybe put a, something in the comments down below, get a hold of me somehow, and uh, I'll, I'll email you and we'll sort out how to get it to you. So uh, first name, uh, first winner here is J Hamo, J-H-A-M-O. So uh, J Hamo, if you'll go ahead and get a hold of me, I'll get you a t-shirt or a hat if I don't have your size. And uh, the next one, be uh, David Sebastian. You'll uh, get a hold of me. Actually, I, I know David personally, so I'll probably see him. And we'll do one more here. Just do a random pick here, so you see I'm not cheating too much here. I suppose I could have put any names in there and I wanted, right? And uh, Dave Zyke. Okay, so I know him personally too, so I feel guilty. I'm going to go ahead and pull one more, hopefully get somebody I don't know. Okay, uh, and uh, Jace Jessup has been commenting on some of my videos, so I'm glad, glad to be able to get to him. So uh, those, are, those are the winners, and uh, cool deal. Thanks for watching.